Yeah, a little bit of a homebody, not to mention Same. whatever what's going on. <laughs> but I'm used to, I'm usually being outside and social. Uh. But uh, I think this whole shit has allowed me to be like, step back real quick. <laughs> but, yes. but uh, yeah, man, it's fucking, it's dope. This is cozy as fuck. Thank you. Well, if you guys are curious uh, who that voice is, that's Tony Loud. <laughs> and we're Rena Ezra and Jordan Freed. And this is Sessions with Mary Jane. On Thank this cozy, cozy this Tuesday, <laughs> Tuesday, Tuesday night. evening. Tuesday evening, yeah. Yeah, thank you for coming to the show. Oh, well, uh, thank you for having me and um, in, in this uh, lovely, cozy atmosphere. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just keep saying cozy and tell you how many times you said it this episode um, you have to rip bong every time you say cozy <laughs> um, <laughs> um, I just want to quick uh, put this out there because last episode our last guest we totally forgot about it as you know it happens in your, your place and we did it when we were like very late into the episode so every episode we give a guest a different challenge okay so it's just to list. <laughs> Everybody gets a different category, but yours is to list as many street art, like graffiti artists as possible. Okay. You could go as long as you like in the episode, interrupt at any time. Um, okay. And that is your challenge. Okay, wonderful. Um, but I am, I am uh, also going to ask you, where did you come from? You, you drove here from where? Uh, I drove here from Union City, New Jersey. Union City. Where? Now, did you grow up there or you just moved there? Nah, I, I moved there. Um, I moved to Jersey City like six years ago. I just moved to Union City um, like last September. Are you originally from Jersey? No, like no, a- no. I'm from Brooklyn originally. Ah. Um, um, Oh, you came to the Staten Jersey? Island. Jersey. Oh, Staten Island? Went to okay. high school in Staten Island. Okay. Went to middle school. Went to, you know, the, what the Brits call it? The primary school. Yeah, primary school. From uh, high school to, uh, in Queens, uh, IS-93, PS-88. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Um, that's New York shit. Yeah, you know, mm-hmm. I, yeah I, no, you you're hard if you went to a public school. <laughs> where did you guys go to school? Jersey. I went to a public school, but, like, upstate New York. Yeah, Yeah, he's upstate New York, and I'm, (laughs) like, a Lindhurst, Malwa. All right. Lindhurst, New Jersey, Malwa, New Jersey, now. Shout out PS88 and IS93. That's awesome. Great. Okay, wait. I have to ask them, what made you move from New York to Jersey? You came on Uh, to our side. I'm like, yeah, I like it. Yeah, 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 (laughs) yeah. It's funny because that's just, like, the stigma of like Jersey, New York, mm. it's just like, ooh. Like if you're born in New York, people from Jersey are like, ooh, you from Jersey. <laughs> and um, <laughs> and it's now it's funny because now I'm the biggest advocate for Jersey. I'm just like, yo, yeah. I'm like, yo, it's I'm like, yo, it's cheaper. It's cheaper. I'm like, where you wanna go that's in the city? Billion, that's our biggest selling point. But though, <laughs> although Jersey's not is get it's not that cheap anymore. It's, it no, is, no, it's coming up. But uh, where where I live, it's it's in Union City. I'm in. I, I feel like I'm still in the fuck. <laughs> Where you from? Are you in the barrio. I still like. I feel. I still like. I'm in the barrio because there's a lot of Hispanics in Union City. Uh huh. Uh-huh. And it just feels like a little grimy. There's like down the block, they sell live chickens. Oh, down the block they sell live Where you, you, want, you want fresh chicken this is the type of culture you guys eat oh you guys eat meat God. we're vegan <laughs> you guys are vegan sorry no 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 <laughs> yeah, but also we're Jewish. I don't know. If Jews also don't apparently do. <laughs> oh, but we're as not long as this kosher should be out. <laughs> <laughs> No, we eat, we do, we eat anything, but we've just been plant-based for the past, like, three years. Oh. But anyway, no, it doesn't, like, you know, we'll eat, we, we nice. eat the culture food, you know, if we're going on vacation or doing, it's just for health reasons. Mm-hmm. But skipping that, though, why, wait, live chickens and <laughs> you just, have you bought one? I was scared. Because you know. gotta do it. That reminds me of the scene in Rush Hour. I was scared. Have you ever seen Rush Hour? Of course so do you remember that scene, Chris Tucker, or maybe it's yes. Rush Hour 2. Rush Hour 2. It's, it's Rush Hour 2. Yeah, it's, Rush it is Rush Hour 2, to be exact. Wow. Live <laughs> chickens at the end of your <laughs> She's blowing the asshole. She's like... <laughs> <laughs> where, where 
is this? Sorry, I was interrupted by I was Jersey, interrupted by sorry, yeah. a literal uh, water salesman. Oh. The most high thing ever. That's As I have like cotton mouth, oh, they're like, man. "Excuse me, sir, I'm here with my business associate, and I have Nestle and Poland Spring Water. Are you the person who buys water in your house?" And I'm just oh, like, yeah. "How much was Dude, I, how did you know I was high and needed water?" <laughs> oh, <But> like, <laughs> man. All right, so oh, Union man. City. I have seen like. I, I used to walk dogs in, like, Union City, like, Weehawken area. Yeah. Yeah. Very, very How much cool were they selling the waters for? I didn't ask. I was just like, I'm literally in the middle That's of That's so weird. I've never had <laughs> anybody sell Poland Spring around here. What is... What's up with that? I feel like they were going to try to actually sell me alkaline water or something and not be Poland uh, Spring. Maybe they were in Poland Spring and I was just high. I was just like, why are you guys oh, here no, trying to sell me so something? so many questions. <laughs> um, all right, let's take, let's take it back, Tony. So, um, okay, grew up Brooklyn. Move around. Now you're in Jersey. I want to know, what what was, like, your... Uh, what was it like growing up? What was it? Were you always so, also the comedic kid around, so, around town? <laughs> So yeah, for sure. Uh, to answer in short, yes. But as far as growing up, like, so I have coming from um, an only, an only parent. My father passed away when I was a baby. When I was like eighteen months. Oh wow! Oh, I'm so my mother, you know, now raises yeah her her son with you know. Are you an only child? Or you I'm an only child. Okay. Um, she had no support growing up. Real, you know, um, independent story. My mother, she wanted to show me something I know. Um, but from all that, uh, it was one of those things where all the negativity and um, tragedy in her life mm-hmm. she prevailed and devoted her life to her job and to her motherhood and I'm a blessing of just love wow. from my yes. mother yeah it's one of those things yeah. where like um she has loved me to infinity mm-hmm. and I'm a big mama's boy <laughs> <laughs> wait what did your mom do for work my mother my mother was in finance my mother was a bank manager Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Wow, that's special. Yeah, for you yeah. to have that parent. That's yeah. really that's now great. she, but you know, she's grown from that. It was, it was one of those things where, from retail, you mm-hmm. know, one of those, growth stores. You know, you stay in a company yes. for long enough. Yeah. You climb up oh, the, the chain. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. you look behind you. You do what you had to do, and she's just like the she strongest did a lot woman. Of work. Damn! Wow. But, um. But all that to be said, that was struggle. Yeah. And the love that I found, I didn't know struggle. I didn't know what we were, where we were, you know what I'm saying? I didn't know what a bill was till, you know, early adolescence when she sat me down and was like, listen, these are the bills. You want sneakers? This is the bill. Mm -hmm. This is the price of your sneaker. What you want? You want these Jordans? You want to pay this bill? And that's when it was like, ching And it would just like hit me and I never, I was like, you know, I tried to never ask her for money ever again. Um, and through that, my comedy, uh, it, how that relates is just, just uh, somebody who needed attention. <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah, just needed like, attention yeah. only child my mother mm-hmm. would put me in after school programs make sure I wasn't in the streets hustling mm. mm-hmm. but uh, but I fucking would watch Steph Comedy Jam and watch Martin Lawrence and shit like that Martin yeah. Lawrence is one of my favorite and John Leguizamo one of my favorite comedians of all time mm-hmm. like somebody who could be so you know expressive with their body mm-hmm. and just like it's it's more it's such an it's such an act. It's more. It's more than an act. It's just like it's a performance. Mm. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, yeah. Those. But, and that's what I idolize, and that's what, you know, I try to get my energy out towards, 
is making, you know, people laugh. Yeah. Making people laugh. And, um... When did you start? What age did you... Did you oh, well, when I, you decided, like, ah, stand-up comedy, you're a <laughs> Uh Well, I tell you what, I first tried when I was, like, 18. And I bombed real crazy. Mm-hmm. It was in New York Rican Poets Cafe uh, downtown. You guys know that spot? I don't know that spot, but I definitely know. Yeah, yeah. Being 18 and bombing. <laughs> it's, it's, right it's right by St. Mark's. Right, so oh, nice. And I, I'm biking by this fucking. Uh, Wait, what is it called? The New York okay. Poets Cafe. Okay. It's uh, it, it's on the it's in the LES. It's downtown. Mm-hmm. Um, so I'm biking one day and I just see this line of people, and it's like an open mic on like a Monday or a Tuesday, and like people, it's like the open mic starts at eight. It's like six thirty or something. I'm like, all right. And I wind up staying on this line, you know, smoking with some cats, talking shit with musicians, everybody signing yeah. up. And I remember I was like fourth or something, fifth. Um, uh, and I go up <laughs> and I fucking eat it. I what up. was your set? What did you say? Oh <laughs> my God. Do you I remember wish, it all? I wish. It's just white. I did wish I can remember. I wish it. <laughs> I wish it was recorded in some... It's in the cloud somewhere. Yeah. It's in the cloud somewhere. It's in the cloud somewhere. It's in the cloud CCTV. <laughs> Black and white. <laughs> so what was that? That was... Um, that was like, oh wait. Word. So you've been in it a bit. That's good that, shit, that, man. That, but that was, that was the first time I tried. Oh, God. I say... The first that was the first time I tried, mm-hmm. but I say I'm in comedy for four years. That's where I got dedicated, where I started the business aspect, trying to you know yeah make profit with passion. Got you. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Um. Uh, so it's one of those things where now it is is growing steadily, and now it's time to make the right moves to go to the next level, and and I'm excited for it. But, but uh, I also want to pay attention to the craft as much as I'm gonna pay attention to the business aspect. Mm-hmm. But that's one of the things you you learn when you get better. You know, you gotta pay attention to. It's just like the opportunities, and it's like a different. It's a different gear, you know, because it's it's cool to be funny. But that's why people hire agents. That's why people do all that mm-hmm. shit because they're that they don't want to think about it. They, yeah. yeah, they rather think about the art. It takes yeah. up a lot of energy <clears throat> when you have to be business minded. Then you have to switch into creative. For and sure, then, yeah, and it's sure it's a balance for sure. Yeah. And so you have to be making money to pay it. So somebody to be thinking. Yeah. That <laughs> otherwise it's got to be you. You got to be you know your yeah. own independent contractor. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Know? But that's that's the way that's the way I, um, you know I'm thinking about it now as much yeah. as the funny, as much as the funny of the business and. I love to have fun. <laughs> yeah, it has yeah, changed since it. you got into it, for sure. Because like when you got into it, you could have just been a great comic and never been on social media and True. survived and made tons of money. True. Now like that that's is kind your, of hard. You need that. Like yeah. you could do it, but like you would have to be fucking good and that's like true. have some connections, like some friends who are headliners already letting you open for them. That's true, and but that's the thing. I love the grind. If you don't love the grind about yeah. it, then it's not for you. And that's 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 it's just in you, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, sure. You ever see the replacements? It's like, what do you need a halftime coach? Hot, <laughs> miles and miles yeah. of hot. That's what we yeah. need. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're we're very different in that way. Yes, like we, we both don't stand up, but she doesn't really like the grind aspect yeah. of it and like going up on a regular basis aspect of it. She likes more like. To be up there and do it every once in a while. I like, yeah, when yeah. we perform sketch comedy, when we perform improv, when we perform, like, other books. It's just different. Stand-up's just uh, different. I don't think I get as much enjoyment out of it either. It's mm. not like... It's fine doing... Because it's a... Prefer- you're solo. You are on your own. Mm-hmm. And, like, even with improv, if you were with another team member, somebody else, or whatever, like... Which is so funny because improv, you're just making it up as you go along. Everything is bullshit. Like everything, you're just making it up. But stand up, you prepare. And you, or I guess, I mean, you I, you don't always prepare. People do crowd work. How much crowd work would you say you, you do? What is your balance between 
preparation, like writing like things seven, down. Like, like yeah, like uh, like seventy thirty. Is prep and thirty is prep work. work. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How long have you been Maybe performing? Maybe twenty. Say again. Oh, I saw that you were performing at Caroline's. Is that like a new thing that you're at Caroline's, or oh, have you been there for a bit? No, no, no. This is my first time there. Uh, Sharif Johnson's headlining. Uh, we're so fucking excited. This is gonna be a great show. Yeah, plug. Uh, when is that? Yeah, when? Um, that's Thursday. Uh, Terrence Parker, myself, um, Stiletto, and uh, Rayshawn Reese uh, hosting. Um, and uh, Sharif Johnson headlining Caroline's Thursday. I don't know when this is dropping. This will be out by then. Yeah, okay. we'll make sure oh, to yeah. get it out late uh, night tonight. Tonight we yeah. promote it on Wednesday. Yeah, so Wonderful. it will be out, people. Wonderful. When you listen to this. Yes, yes, yes. Please come along. Um, but so yes, and Sharif is uh, my dog. I'm, I'm thank you. I'm thankful for him. Um, he's such a fucking hilarious dude as well. He. He's just like a beam of light. Guy comes into the room, is just like luminescent, hmm. um, and it's it's great to be around him. Um, just you know, from an artistic point as well. Um, but I'm bl- I'm blessed. I'm blessed that like you know these you know these pe- these type of people are in my life that like growing to that next level. Yeah. Um, you know, and that's what it's about. You know, you gotta gotta you gotta build a nice foundation. You know, to yes. to rely on. You yes. know, you can't do that. You can't do everything alone. You know what I mean? Yeah. No. It, it yeah. takes a village. Some people, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Some people, you know, make it you make it seem like it's just a self or whatever. But no, it's it's <laughs> people supporting each other. Um, I think that's just a testament to how hard it is to deliver, like in high pressure situations in general. Because, like, like you said, the people who have teams behind them they just have it a little easier to be able to deliver in that situation. They still have to prep. They still have to have that talent and like still sell the tickets and keep their reputation up in a lot of ways. Yeah. Yeah. Or, you know, How would you define your comedy? Oh, um, <laughs> um, observational, I suppose. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> silly. I like, I like silly, like, uh, <laughs> I love how you're describing. You know, I don't know. Like so, I don't take yeah. him, I don't take myself too serious. I don't take, I, I don't take myself too serious on stage, <laughs> but um, uh, but sometimes when I do, when I when I do, <laughs> do like a one eighty up there, and and like and, it's just like, <laughs> <laughs> and that's what I, it's so funny because it could be it could be going good, and I just like oh this is I want to try some some new shit, and it's just like. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's just like it's either it's just really off but <laughs> you gotta earn that though from your years you know yeah. like I feel like after a certain point of like bombing like you get to the point where oh I could just try anything I want on stage because the bombing doesn't hurt me anymore. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. but you guys should do whatever you I'm want out there. But like, sure. I'm going to try these concepts. I won't do them again. I won't disrespect another audience. But like, I'm going to at least try this bit right now. <laughs> yeah. I think that's a big thing is like, I'll definitely try a joke like three times, but after that, I'm not going to try to disrespect an audience with that stuff anymore. <laughs> but I definitely will try it hard to see if somebody will like it. <laughs> somebody that, some, it's subjective. Somebody uh, out there, it's a different taste. Somebody will like it. I had somebody who saw me like a couple times saying, yo, you know that Oreo joke? Stop telling them. <laughs> I said, I said that. I said, what? Get out of here. I said, stop coming to my shows. I said, <laughs> I said Wait, did he say why? Did he say any reason? N- n- no, because he just heard, he heard it so easy. Oh, he said, you time. tell it. You uh, do it. I said, you tell it every show. I said, yeah. No, I said, you're the only one that's here every show. <laughs> you I was like, like you that. pretty much work here. I like, so this guy <laughs> fucking mop. <laughs> The fuck! I was like, yeah, that's stupid. <laughs> What's like the funniest unsolicited comment from a comic that you've gotten about your set? <laughs> um. Ooh, interesting. Uh. Yeah, I don't know. I 
just got inspired. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you have to also give an answer, Jordan. Uh, that's 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 an interesting question because, uh, uh, oh man, I know I'm, I'm trying I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think. I got uh, I got pulled to the side by somebody who was real close to me, and she and she, and she's like, uh, she's like. She's like an auntie to me, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah. She brought me, she just brought me to the side. She was like, Listen, you did good up there, but you need a little bit more energy. <laughs> <laughs> right? And and she was right. Yeah. Because I saw the, I saw the replay. And, <laughs> and, <laughs> It, it felt it felt like a real manager talk, oh. and I felt I felt I, and then like that was like the, I got paid for the gig, yeah. And which you sometimes you know you, you know most of the time you're not getting paid you know good mm-hmm. money or anything you're mm-hmm. getting paid in beer tickets, mm-hmm. and I got paid for that gig so it, I felt like it was like a duty I felt like it was a job, you know more than it was just like a, a you know side thing or you know like. Yeah, it's a job, yeah. You know, because it's 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 one of those things where fucking get it where you can get it type mm-hmm. of deal. Yeah, you know, it's not like I got I could I could I could toss my name anywhere and get where I want, but that's what the grind is, right. and it's a scenario where shit is shit is starting to open up right now that is starting to look lovely in the next you know uh, eighteen months. Right now, you know, so I'm excited for it, man. Hello there, it's Jordan Freed from Late Night Hump, the person you're probably listening to on the podcast right now. I just wanted to let you know that we are coming back with our interdimensional improv show that takes you through space time and different realities over the course of an hour long show that's made up on the spot based off of your suggestions. Our show is going to be Friday, November 12th, 2021 at 9.30 p.m. Get there around 9 p.m. so you can get settled in. It's at the Players Theater at 115 McDougal Street between West 3rd and Bleecker Streets in New York, New York. York, baby. We're going to be in the Steve and Mary Skuros Theater, the Players Theater, third floor loft. Uh, You will have to have a proof of vaccination, but that should be fine for all of you guys. And these shows are really a ton of fun. They're really the best thing that we do. Do not miss this. Go to latenighthump.com slash shows to find the ticket link. Once again, that's latenighthump.com slash shows for the ticket link. And when you go there and buy your tickets, you could use code HUMP to get 50% off. It's definitely worth the code. Uh, Do that for yourself. Get your tickets early before the show sells out because we're only going to quarterly shows now. We used to do monthly. So come on out, fill out the seats, enjoy our first show all this fall. Back to the show. I'm excited for it, but do you like any of the new venues that have been popping up? Um, like uh, what, like like the Texas stuff? Well, I don't know. I don't know where you've been uh, touring. I don't know where you've been performing. Are there any like new venues new that have spots, popped up that yeah, you like? Yeah, that you didn't perform before the pandemic, mm-hmm. or places that have evolved in a way that you like? Um, have have you have you? I've been to the tiny cupboard. I have not been to it yet. Yeah. Oh, you're right. We were at it. a different yeah. space. Yeah, my show. We I was supposed to be on a show, show and then it got canceled. <laughs> we were at a different show yeah. sponsored by the Tiny Cupboard and another organization, yeah. but you're right. We still have Soon not been enough. to that place. I've yeah. seen it. Ty- I've seen pictures of it. It looks... How is it? That's nice. That's nice. That's it has nice. a nice... <laughs> You've had like Phil Risden on here. He produces you know, shows there. Movie, yeah. 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 It, has, it has a nice view of the city. Um... Uh, but the J train pops up every once in a while, so it's it's funny because some, uh, some people need the light, and the J train will let them know. Like, get, oh, got get you. <laughs> <laughs> That's such character to a yeah. place. <laughs> yeah, it's 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 fun, and then um, and they have the downstairs as well. Uh, uh, I think uh, Elazar and uh, uh, Irv Hernandez they, they do a show every Thursday. 
I saw cool. every other Thursday up there. Yeah. Word. He's the Jersey cats, the Jersey City cats. Cool. Cool. Yeah. Hmm. Nice. But yeah, I did that was, that's a nice one, you know. Um uh fucking uh I'm not nice and I'm not nice right now. I'm like I'm like I performed in space right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like Saturn has a fucking awesome room. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a really cool name for it. Yeah, it's it's good that you're finally transitioning back into clubs from like backyards and shit. I'm sure. Oh, but yeah. backyards yeah. are fun. Yeah, they are fun. Yes, yeah. backyards are fun. A better but show. Yeah, it's a better show. I agree. Just because you know you get the like sound. It's like a sound dome. Oh you know yeah, what I mean? sounds a huge and, part and, of it. Yeah. yeah, and it's just like sometimes. You need the quietness, and sometimes if you're quiet in the, in the backyard, you hear some shit. Crickets. It's just like, yeah, you you're legit hear crickets. Word. I do a backyard show in Trenton, and then I hear some murders occasionally. Oh <laughs> and I'm just kind of like, <laughs> I'm like, guys, laugh, laugh. We don't want to hear this right now. <laughs> Come on, guys. Well, there's still a fun. huge, like, that show at Weedman's, there's still a huge no, chunk of people that. who are watching, no, no, I'm saying who okay. watch a uh, live stream, though. There are still people who are still trying to do the virtual thing. Um, also, that's probably oh. going to come back around because we're now coming up into winter. Yeah. So now people it's don't want to go outside anyway. Yeah, it's a method that people work. You know, I, yeah, I don't think I don't think that I think that there's uh, there'll still be a market for for shit like that because there are some people who are just like homebound. You know yes. what I mean? Yeah. Who like are just like, well, I'm not. I got lupus. I got like, it's yeah. it could be any number of things, but. Um, it's one of those things where if you can capitalize on it, then you capitalize on it. In my eyes, I that's I, I honestly made started to make more money, uh, as fucking Zoom comedy, at a point that I was making oh, wow. on stage. Yeah, I was just like, nice. I was like, oh okay. Wow. I think that's really real because like, there's fucking 900 million people in America how many people no billions of people in America <laughs> I'll tell you that I'll tell you that real soon yeah no there's there's like so many people in America like I was trying to like I was thinking how about many that. and also just like where we, where we live is just so condensed yeah and like if you add 328.2 like, million people hmm. in America it says in the United States population where as well yeah why does that sound so low? Well, COVID took out a lot of people. Also, we're not really that's having a real thing. We're not having COVID babies is... like we used to. That's our thing. That's also that's pretty. That's Pe- probably also people are wearing that. condoms. People are gay. There's like there's some good things going on to to help us keep it down. I think <laughs> I the birth rate that, that was probably declined, but um, yeah, no, that's it's we don't even have a billion, wow. million. Yeah, well, that is pretty crazy to think about. That's why China's gonna take over because it's just gonna be like, yo, what's good? We're gonna surround you. What are we gonna do? What are you gonna do? <laughs> and that's that's the give up. It's just like it's like playing um, arm wrestling. Yeah, China's <laughs> population is one point four billion. Yeah, they're like, <laughs> man, if they were to come and be like, oh, okay, well, I guess, I guess we into dumplings now. That's why. Yeah, but yeah, who doesn't love dumplings? That's true. Like I've been, like, I would, I would submit immediately. I'd be, it'd be over. <laughs> It'd be over. Okay, where where have you uh, traveled uh, outside of the U.S. or have you? I have. I've been fortunate. I've been fortunate to travel. Um, uh, I've done a lot of the Caribbean. Um, uh, uh, I fucking recently just went to Costa Rica. Um, Who has that? Oh, Costa Rica. If, if you're listening to this. Go to Costa Rica if you can. <laughs> yeah. Costa Rica what did you is do? Fucking, Where did you stay? Like, um, oh, Costa yeah, Rica is fucking bomb. Um, I stayed at this spot um, in Manuel Antonio. Mm-hmm. Um, oh my goodness. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Phenomenal, phenomenal food. Phenomenal people. Beautiful sights. Just like everything is great. Uh. I, I just can't s- s- 
speak enough about Coast. It's gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And their and their people appreciate shit. Um, mm. You know what I mean? And, and you come back if you got a soul, <laughs> and you come back and you appreciate shit. Cause somebody, some people, there's a spot <clears throat> over there uh, uh, called uh, Hako, okay. and it's fucking crazy over there. You know, a lot of prostitution and oh. just all wild shit. You know what I mean? And the you know, U.S. dollar goes far there, so wow. Know, wow. Crazy. I also feel like it would be a very good place to be a vegan. I feel like they probably have the best, <laughs> yeah. fruit. they probably have the best fruits and vegetables, they have right? Very good. You know what? The fruits and vegetables were the most Tasty fruits and vegetables. You can I've taste the difference, right? Oh, the ones you have, right? Yeah. It means sure, it's so much fresher. There was like this mint pineapple mango juice that homie made. Oh my god, that wow. was phenomenal, uh, and I can't replicate it. I don't. I've been trying to do it at home, and I'm just like, yo, this shit ain't going. It's not the same. <laughs> it's not the same. <laughs> Oh, wow. Even mouthwater. Yeah, oh, yeah. Costa Rica. Yeah, it's so funny. Delicious. We, we yeah. knew a guy who was hanging out in Costa Rica, but I think he got tracked down by the Costa Rican mob. Oh, shit. <laughs> shit. He was a little sketch. I don't know what so that guy's name was. I don't... I don't. <laughs> Costa Rican bow tie. He, he's, been off, he's been off Facebook a while, or he just blocked me. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> he's, uh, he's an odd dude. He's a strange guy. Yeah. yeah. What so what 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 is the uh, like what is one of the differences major differences um you think we can take from Costa Rica and bring here? Well, it's the, I tell you what about the Costa Ricans, the Costa Ricans <laughs> <laughs> from Costa Ringa. <laughs> We're with Mary Jane. <laughs> it's so funny. Sorry. Good. So, <laughs> what you can take is, um, what you take is just how fortunate fucking and convenient our lives are. Whether that be convenient to the yeah. fucking store, convenient yeah, to the fucking yeah. uh, mall, convenient to whatever you want to consume, you fat fucking toy. Yeah. <laughs> um, and it's one of those things where just people got fucking nothing. And right. yeah. what homie what homie was telling me about like what when hospitality stopped over there, because that was like one of their main, you know, sources of revenue. Mm-hmm. Was hospitality when that stopped because of COVID. Yeah, sure. They were they fucking probably, doing all types yeah. of odd jobs, shit that would be the like economy probably took a dip, yeah. Shit that would be equivalent to like fucking seventy five cents to a five, an hour in our dollar. You know, oh, so I was like, oh, shit. He's, like, shoveling shit, saying, I'm like, oh. oh like, doing sewage work. I'm like, oh, fuck. Yeah. Damn. So it was one of those. <clears throat> but That's an eye-opener, yeah. Yeah, so you come like, back sure, and you're just like, sure. fuck. Yeah. And it's just like, well, that's that's the almighty dollar. That's why this is, this is, um, this is America. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. you have that perspective now. I oh like, for you sure. Have, like, it's, for sure. For sure. I get it, like shot. ignorance is bliss, I guess, but I don't know, when you're just more aware of what what else is going on outside of your country. What else is going on to with to, with other people and their cultures. It's uh I like I I don't know. It's but very I just be educated. Yeah. yeah. Just yeah. even that, even to leave like your But they the, and they're and they're funny yeah. as fuck. They're they're they're, they're what do you mean? They're just they're just they're just mad loose. They're just mad loose. They're like fucking You have to have more fun. Yeah, they're just like a fucking More lively? Like Like a lively, lively. Like, they're like a set like a Latin cartoon. Oh. Like, oh. You know what I mean? Okay, okay. They're like, Oh you wanna fly on the zip line? And then everybody's here <laughs> in America. You wanna play with these spiders? He's playing with spiders yeah. and shit. And he was playing with spiders talking about that they're venomous. I mean, he was like, yo, you want to touch it? I was like, I'm not fucking touching Yo, yeah, how the insects? What did you kind of, you come across anything that you were just like, ah! They had insects. Oh, yeah. I, he had, he was, there was a spider, legit, there was a spider web. And he crawled on homie. Was and he was, oh, and it was just like, I, he was like, oh, you want to grab her? I was like, oh, I was like, no. <laughs> but I saw that. I saw a sloth. <gasps> Three toe sloth. Oh my gosh. The sloth. sloth. Wow. 
So so his his head was like squashed, <clears throat> and then I saw some white faced monkeys that came by the pool, stole my cherry, out my drink. <laughs> A little bastard. Wow, what's that like? I, I always think that's Such so crazy that people can be close to monkeys yeah. because I'm just like, Mexico. monkeys are basically humans. Yeah. So they're just humans that just don't really know like <laughs> about emotions. Like yeah. they're just hanging out. Like they know food food is good. Mm. Like they, they know how to fight with people. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They, know, they know they have this thing called shit. Yeah. <laughs> they do stuff with it. <laughs> they're aware that they shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, we gotta put Costa Rica on our list. Mm. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, so. Definitely. We're gonna be digital nomads and go to Costa Rica in a van across the ocean. <laughs> However, you gotta get down. <laughs> so, uh, did you see any comedy in Costa Rica? Just curious. No. As far as the entertainment in Costa Rica, what is the? No, I think. I don't think that there's there's more like shit comedy stuff in the um, in that in that area, and I didn't see it. I I wasn't I wasn't really there f- for a comedy actually. What What were you? Can I ask you why you were in Costa Rica? Uh, yeah, was, it, uh, no, it was a okay. drug deal. No, <laughs> no, I'm joking. Oh my god! I'm, I'm no, joking. this is the way you this is, at I'm joking. <laughs> I am joking. This is a joke. Yeah, hearing a, this, this is a joke. A, is a joke. I was in Costa Rica with my family. It's a funny podcast. Check my uh yes, this is a funny podcast. This is a lie. This is a lie. So and you then, actually have family in Costa Rica? No, my family is from here. We all went to Costa Rica together. Oh, you went with your whole fam. Yeah, oh, that's yeah. nice. Yeah, that's we nice. Yeah, nice. yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was our first time out there, wasn't it? That's cool. So everybody, you have family just that goes dates back to uh, New York. Like they, they're New York for generations. How deeply yes. rooted are you? Oh, that's really awesome. So my mother was born here. My grandmother was born here. Her mother was born in Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico, okay. And do you still? Does she still have? People in Puerto Rico? Like, I still know. have some extended family out there. Um, not that I haven't. Uh, Do you know your. I haven't been in touch with them too much. Uh, dads? Like. I don't. Have you ever been curious to be like, oh yeah, I'm one of those guys. Now I'm going to do Ancestry.com. <laughs> you know what? I've always been nervous about Ancestry.com, to be honest. Because then they have. DNA. <laughs> yeah, just because I'm just I'm just fucking panic like that. Um, <laughs> um, I understand. But like, it's one of those things where my mother, my mother likes that shit. You know, my mother likes that shit. She'll she'll. Uh, Take back the family tree. You mean? What do you mean? She likes she to like look it up. She'll be um, like, mm-hmm. um, <laughs> I hired this person or whatever. We're <laughs> one sixteenth. Yeah, you know, exactly. Native American or something. Um, very, mm. very cool. Interesting. I like these. Sesame yeah, these shows. snacks. These little. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I got them at Shoprite. They're like an Indian peanut snack. Peanut nuts and crazy. Hey, people! If you have the munchies, eat up. That's yes. a. This is a the ASMR eat along, portion. Eat along podcast. Uh-huh. <laughs> um. So what what is in store for the future for your comedy? Mm-hmm. How loud is it gonna get? Oh, no. <laughs> your, what do you? No, 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 loud, baby. You don't get loud. I'm telling you what. What? Tell you what. There's um, I have, I'm in this uh, relentless series. It's a uh, um, it's a uh, web series that's coming out. It's about. Uh, some drug lord that has redemption um and i'm also playing a redeemed crackhead um wait where is that series coming out um that's supposed to be coming out next month if i'm not mistaken on what um, uh, where can we find that oh that's gonna be on youtube cool, cool. um uh, i'll keep y'all updated shout out shout outs um <laughs> yeah, maybe maybe out, follow Tony Ladder. Relentless, right relentless, relentless, yeah. relentless. Oh, yes. Your Instagram handle. Yes. So that he can post about it when it comes out. Yes, we'll put his yes. info in the description as well. At Tony Loud. Um, you already know. Instagram. Uh, and I believe Twitter. Uh, 
I try to tweet. I don't know. I tweet. I tweet. I, I, tweet, I tweet to myself. I believe. I think I tweet to myself. It's my own personal. You tweet to it's my own personal diary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know that makes sense. Let's go. Boost my boost my numbers up. Tweet. Tweet. Tweet is. <laughs> I had a friend who told me to tweet all my thoughts, and like I used to get comments or not comments like favorites and retweets like on a minor level but now like nobody touches my twitter account <laughs> i feel like the algorithms have just changed to like exterminate millennials <laughs> <laughs> for gen z it's just got it was just too much it's just too much in this in the fucking stratosphere <laughs> <laughs> it's true oh that's what i was saying there's just mad people in america so yes. like you could be somebody who appeals to such a small subsection of the population and still be rich as fuck mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. if a couple of rich people like mm-hmm. you and then like a couple of yeah, hundred n- thousand n- like, yeah, nice little normal niche. people like you. That's true. Yeah, nice little That's niche. True. Like so Relentless is a series and you have another uh, and then and then um, and then uh, I'm just I'm doing some stand up um, shows gotcha. you know I got some shows coming out um, Caroline on Thursday on um, August 2nd I'm in Newark with uh, Ibrahim Khalif um, and then he's funny as fuck. Yeah, he's real funny. That's um, like Corgi. Once. Um, and then I'm Ooh. I'm with Sharif and Nine Hundred Two Brewery, um, on October ninth. Uh, I think that's the next, not this Friday, but the Friday coming up, October 9th Um, and that's for the immediate future. But you know, I'm still writing, writing my ass off. We'll have to get you out to Weed Man's joint this month. Oh. Maybe maybe you should see him later on a, oh. a trend show if you want to go out there on a yeah. Wednesday night. I yeah. would love that. I would love that. Yeah, well, uh, you guys heard it here first. Tony Loud, he's going to be on a Weed Man show the oh. second or third Wednesday we'll of October, in. if he accepts. A lot of people <laughs> tune in over, yeah, Facebook Live on the Weed Man's accounts, on Late Night Humps accounts, Instagram Live. So, also, it's just a really, it's nice, it's also a really nice weather right now, people, if you wanted to come out. In a backyard show. Sweater weather. That's coming a, back it's, October. It's cozy. <laughs> mm-hmm. It's cute. No, it's nice. It's fall. You can get mushrooms between okay. you and me. <laughs> <laughs> you might want to try them out. Um, <laughs> They're wonderful. Safety, safety. <laughs> we kind of safety. Micro dose sure, always. Make sure you drink water, <laughs> hydrate, and you're guided by a shaman. Um, is there anything? <laughs> is there anything? Um, uh, you want to add to it? Sorry. To. Uh, and if you, I mean, like any plugs of late night hump or whatever, just to drop back at that. Oh way. yeah. Um, there's some stuff in the works. Just please tell your friends about uh late night hump. Like that is the nicest thing you can do for us. Is like tell people about this podcast. Uh, it just helps us out a lot for promotional for our shows. Uh, you probably heard the nice commercial I made, uh, or it's coming up later. But uh, oh, for the I recorded I recorded a nice little commercial. You guys will hear it. There's a little show. voice acting uh, <laughs> right there, so that I have something to submit. Wow, you're uh, lost. Okay. You know, like kind of okay. Use the whole buffalo, so to speak. Um, <laughs> Who oh, says that? There was a buffalo. That? Well, no, really? like, it, if I record, like, a voice thing for, like, an audio commercial, then I'm going to also use it for my voice acting reel, and I'm also going to use it to sell show tickets. It's going to serve three purposes. Oh, I'm going to milk it down. The trifecta. Yeah. Two birds with yeah, one yeah, stone. Three Don't birds. Three birds. Three birds. One, oh, my God, you're killing birds left and right. Oh, yeah. my God. In the middle. <laughs> oh, my Lord. <laughs> um, do you uh, dabble in psychedelics at all? Yes. Are you uh, <laughs> really interested in that. talking at all about yes. the experiences? What have you oh, yeah. uh, um, dipped your feet in um, every once in a yeah, like little while? What would you like to <laughs> Sorry, we just saw the killers. <laughs> yeah, we just came back from Firefly Festival. Everybody, it was a wonderful, wonderful oh, experience. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but we can leave that for another session. Yes. Um, yeah, but what would you like to share? Um, uh, yeah, I've I've done some I've done some shrooms, you know, and um, it's been fun. It's been fun. I think that that experience is something that. A lot of people can enjoy under you know the safe environment, and um, and 
really, you know, there are worse, way worse things that you can be uh, consuming uh, or injecting or fucking, I don't know, anally, you know, they do in fucking the NyQuil up their ass. These are, <laughs> like, I've, seen, I've seen them. I've seen them. You I saw did not them. know that. I, I <laughs> haven't yeah. seen them. This is like what they're <laughs> You haven't seen it? No, look that, look that up. What? I don't These I don't girls are getting you. turned, yeah, the girl, uh, yeah, to the fucking. What? No. To some twerking. No. Yeah. What? But, I, you know, you know, it's one of those things where, uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, I like to. I like to put off a good vibe and feel good and have people good around me with mm. good energy. Positivity. You know, positivity, yes. you know. Um, oh. And with that, it's one of those things where it, when you're in that environment, it's like, okay, I'm, I'm cool, I'm chilling. It's just like, I'm going to live my life to my fullest, you know? Yeah. And everything mm. feels good about now. But... Do you think it helps you with your writing process at all? Uh, oh, oh yeah, yeah. The other day I unlocked some shit, um, and uh, nice. I was like, "Oh, that's cool." And um, I went on a little bit of a tangent, but um, I was like, you know, happy for the relief that it gave me, but just like, the ideas it gave me. But it was just like calming, you know. I feel like I take on bullshit stress because I'm stupid. Uh, one of those things I feel like that, that you know but I know I know. I think a lot of people take on bullshit stress. yeah you know it's one, of the, it's one of those things I'm just like uh, what else is there today <laughs> and and, and, I, and so with something like that it allows me to relax and just like mellow out but shit. it's like a, a mental Vacay. Oh, it's 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 like Literally a mental vacay. massage. Yeah. Oh, if you've yes, ever, yes, I love it's that like, sound. It's, it, I love that. I mean, I love that phrase. Yeah. It, it, yeah, yeah. Have you mental ever had? If you've ever had a sweetest massage, oh, that yes. when they are like, get in their tissues, and there's like, <laughs> you know, get there's like there's an there's an elbows and knees are involved, uh, and like you get it. yeah. And then afterwards, and afterwards, you know, you, you try to realign or just like, okay, that was fun. And then I was like, well, you know, yeah. <laughs> you, can get some, you can get some water, make sure I hydrate right now. I'm really, I'm really, I'm really thirsty. I may be really thirsty. <laughs> I'm getting really thirsty. And my bones hurt a little bit, but I'll uh, take this Advil and I'll be all right. Um... <laughs> but other than that it's one of those things where uh, I feel it not, not it doesn't unnecessarily unlock this stream of unconscious you know thoughts for me at least I see lights crazy mm. I know I know lights going in and I'm just like I don't know Drink it. It's a lot of, it's also, uh, like, when you're stimulate, stimulating different parts of your brain, and then things visually, This uh, sesame seed is stimulating my, different parts of my brain right now. <laughs> the, the what? The weed? The sesame seed. Oh, the sesame seed snack. Yo, those are good. Mm -hmm. I really like those. Um... Yeah, uh, anyway, that's, that's, uh, that sounds lovely. I like how you phrased it as a mental massage, for sure. <laughs> yeah, hydrate people, drink some water. Um, <clears throat> it's, um, that's very well, well put. I don't um, do that enough at the Weed Man show. A lot of the people at the festival were just constantly telling people drink water. Like, I gotta be telling people at the Weed Man show drink water. Yeah, you do. We need to save people's lives. Yeah, it's, it's important. Yeah. It's important. It's good for your mind and body. Um, <clears throat> okay, well, awesome. Fantastic. Um, I was just going to ask Jordan if there's anything you wanted to add or anything else you wanted to add, Tony. Yeah, I took a nice big puff. It's a nice bong, right? 
<laughs> it's amazing, bro. Yeah, Rick and Morty. Gotta do it up. Sorry, I had to fill up the water no, because I didn't have a Poland Spring salesman. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Just uh, asking if there's anything you'd like no, to add. No, um, I don't think there's anything else I'd like to add. Tony Loud, I'm so glad we got to meet you. This was amazing. Yeah, thank you oh my for God. coming this on the show. This was super fun. I'm glad thank that you're you in Jersey me. now. You've come to the dark yeah. side. I originally yeah. was from New York and came over yes. to the dark side, yes. also known as Dirty Jers. Yes. Uh, and we welcome you. Yeah, well, thank you, brother. I appreciate it. I gotta have you over in Union City. Oh, yeah, man. Break some bread over there. Yeah. Uh, I mean, everybody just keep on the lookout for Tony Love. Uh, yeah. you're, we're gonna give you all this information. Uh, and everybody enjoy the